Okay, so we are talking about pointers, right? Pointers are nothing but data types. So what do data types have? So far we've talked about, about int, float, and so on and so forth. So if you say int x, what does it do for you? It allocates memory. So it is an integer data type and the system allocates memory for you. So if I create a pointer, it is going to allocate memory for the pointer, right? So how do we create a pointer? So you say int star x. And that creates a pointer. So what is the pointer here? X is the pointer. That's all it is. X is the pointer. So because we have a star in front of it. And memory gets allocated for the pointer. Right? So we say a pointer means it points to something. So is that X pointing to anything right now? Because we haven't told it to point to anything. We simply told it I want a pointer created. If you say int X, all you're doing is you're saying allocate memory for x, so it allocates memory. Does it put anything in there? No, not until you put something in there. Likewise, when you say int star x, all it does is it allocates memory for this pointer. So how much memory does it allocate for the pointer, you think? What is the pointer going to hold? A memory location. An address is usually as long as the number of bits on your computer. So if you have 32 bits, the address is as long as 32 bits. So how much memory is going to get allocated on this computer for a pointer? 32 bits because that's what it has. That's about uh, 4 bytes, right? So memory gets allocated. What goes in here? Nothing because we haven't told it. Does this pointer have an address in itself? It's another memory location, just like this has an address, a pointer also has an address. So maybe the pointer's address is 0x200. We haven't made it point to anything, so the value itself is junk, just like we have junk value in here when we don't tell it that we have put data in it, right? So a pointer is nothing but a data type. Memory gets allocated for it. The amount of memory that gets allocated is as long as it's the address, because it's going to hold an address. And when we don't allocate anything to it, and when we simply create it and not initialize it, it is essentially a null pointer. It's a bad pointer. It's not pointing to anything. So our goal is to create a pointer and make it point to something. So if I say in star x, and then if I go on to say, so let's go ahead and put that picture here. Here is my pointer x. It doesn't have anything. It has an address. I'm not sure what it's pointing to because it's not pointing to anything. Let's make this variable y instead of x. Our integer now is just y. So can I take the x and make it point to y? Let's say I have memory allocated for y. I want to take x and point to y. What should I say? x equals what will make x point to y? Ampersand y. The ampersand stands for the address of operator. So you take the address of y and you put it into x. So once that statement is done executing, what goes into this pointer? And that is 0x100. Once that goes in there, we have taken this pointer and made it point to y. y still doesn't have anything. Y still has junk in it, because we still haven't put anything in Y, right? Now, if I say Y equals 20, where does the 20 go? Into Y. I also have another way of accessing that Y, right? I have a pointer. Star X equals 50. Where does that 50 go? Where is my x pointing to? It goes right there into y. Where there was a 20, there's no longer a 20. There is a... So the star is called the dereferencing operator. 
you dereference a pointer by using the star to say when I use the star, I'm not putting anything here, I'm putting something in where it's pointing to. Okay? If I simply say x equals 50, where am I putting the 50 now? Into x right here. Now, does it make any sense to it? It will take it because it's, after all, a memory location. It thinks it's an address and it's going to take it. But, of course, this link just got broken, right? Because now 50 is not 0x100. It is not pointing to that. It is pointing to somewhere that it thinks is legal. Perhaps not. So, if you simply say x, that's going to go right there. If you say star x, that says it is putting it into whatever x is pointing to. So the star is your dereferencing operator. Okay? What is and x? It's the address of x, which is? 0x100. Oh, I made it all 100. It should be 200. So every one of these has a value to it. You just must know what is what in order to understand pointers. This is the basic of a pointer. You create a pointer, you allocate memory to it. If you don't make it point to something by having a statement like this, there is no use of creating the pointer. It's pointing nowhere, and if you try to put a value in it, it is going to crash, okay? So we say crash a lot when we start talking about pointers because it crashes a lot when you forget to do a small step in between. So if you do int star x and you don't put this statement in, this statement will be fine. But will this statement be fine? We created a pointer. It is not pointing to anything. Y equals 20. Of course, that's fine because Y is there. It has memory to put it, take an integer and it's happy. So it takes the 20. Then you're going to say star x equals 50. What is star x? Yeah. Right now, nothing. So at that point, it's going to crash and it's going to say, I have no idea where to put that 50. I'm not referencing anything and it will crash. So before you put something into a pointer location, you must make sure that that is actually pointing to something. If it doesn't, then you're in trouble. Okay? So you must make sure that x is pointing to something. So let's go ahead. Okay. Okay, so I have an empty project. Let's go ahead and say add new item. We'll call this basic pointers. Okay, and I'll post this also today. Basic PTRs. These are the basic pointers. Okay, so we're simply going to say demos, basic demos. Okay, basic pointers. So first let's declare a regular variable called num in int num equals zero. Okay? So this is just a regular variable. Int variable. Then let's create a pointer to what else did you notice about the pointer? We said int star p. So we told it it is going to point to an integer. That's what that means. Okay, so we're going to say pointer to an int, you say int star ptr. You could initialize it just like you initialize anything else. When you initialize it, what are you doing? You're simply putting an address of zero in there. You're not making it point to anything yet. Okay, it's still a bad thing if we try to print something without putting anything in there. So int star ptr says pointer to an integer. That's all it's doing. It's not pointing to anything yet. So let's say set num to something. So num equals 20. Okay, that puts a value in num. 
PTR to point to num. PTR equals ampersand num. So let's take the address of num and put it in PTR. Now print num. See out. So how shall we print num? What's what's a good way to print num? Yeah, so you know how to print num through num. You say num equals num. Right? That should print num. You can also say num through PTR equals how should we print it through the PTR? If I wanted to use the PTR to print num, how do I do it? Remember our star? which is a dereferencing operator. So asterisk PTR will put the value of whatever PTR is pointing to. It will print that value and that is nothing but num. And so they should really be the same. Print num through num and then print num through PTR. We'll also see a few other things in a minute. So let's go ahead and build that And so what do you think that's going to output? Hmm? Num equals 20 and num through PTR equals 20. Because they're both 20, right? So, but we have two ways of accessing it. One is through the num and one is through the PTR. Let's also print a few other things. Print or, here's another way to look at it. Since we are trying to use the debugger, put a breakpoint right here on number six, line number 16, okay? Then do F5. And then make sure we have our windows. So we have our autos, which would be fine. Now take a look at what it says there as far as the address goes. You can see that. You can see that better than me. I, better than what I can see here. Okay. So num has an address of what? It says it's 20. We don't see the address here. Um, oh, and num is right here. And num says 13FD24, right? Now look at the value of PTR is 13FD24. Does it say that? So that means it is the same address. Let's do locals. There is PTR. The value of PTR is 13FD24. So that is the same as the address of num. Okay? You do F10.